at one of my local food markets in Thailand to buy some street food. Let's go for a walk.
xuống cấp Ồ, lại vô này, vô quá đại này hả? So the cat, yep, come on, and what? Yep, now, no, 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 So the first thing I bought were these, which are known as dim sum in Thailand. It's like a, a steam sort of dim sum and comes with a sauce and I got him to add some garlic as well. These are really, really good. Definitely worth uh, trying while you're in Thailand. We've got um, five for 20 baht. These ones are, are quite big. Sometimes you get smaller ones for less. But yeah, really tasty. So next was my little packet of eggs here. And these are, are quail eggs. Again, really tasty. They come with a skewer so that you can eat them. Um, they're fried. Yeah, really, really good. So they come with a little little bag of sauce. Sometimes they add the sauce, um, and usually they they add pepper to them as well. For some reason I didn't get pepper or, or sauce added this time. Um, yeah, definitely one of my favourite street foods in Thailand. Next was this bag, and I got a packet of uh, sticky rice. Normally the sticky rice you see looks like this, but the one that I got today is it's got added uh, fried onion and also pieces of chicken. Sometimes it's got crispy chicken skin as well. So basically this stuff keeps Thailand running, so you, you tear a bit off and and just eat. It's often eaten with other things. Yeah. Sticky rice is really good. Um, this one was about 10 baht. You get the plain ones usually for, for 5 baht. My uh, side that I got with this was a piece of fried chicken. So the fried chicken in Thailand is, is really, really tasty. It's really, really fresh as well. Um, really moist and really tender, really juicy. It is delicious. Lots of people worry about the safety of, of eating street food. Um, I've never had any problem with it. And this stuff, in fact, the, the fried chicken. Uh, a couple of years ago when I first moved here, I was, I was living with a Thai friend. And I got home from work one day and he asked me what I'd eaten that day. I told him I ate some fried chicken for breakfast. And I realised that I hadn't actually eaten the fried chicken. And I said, oh no, the fried chicken's still sitting on my motorbike. And it's not going to be any good now. I'm going to have to throw it in the bin. He said, no, that'll be fine. So this piece of fried chicken had been sitting in the hot Thailand weather for about, well, from 7.30 in the morning until 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So I went out to my motorbike and checked it out. It seemed to be all right. I ate it and uh, it was fine. So I never had any problems with it. So as an example of, of yeah, how safe the street food is here, generally the, the food is a lot fresher than what we're used to in the West. The stuff in the supermarkets in the West is often sat there for, for three days or four days before you buy it, then you take it home. This stuff, this, this chicken over here was probably uh, chicken this morning with, with plans for the weekend and now it's sitting here fried, ready to eat. So it is really safe.
So next were my chopped spring rolls. The, the spring rolls in Thailand are really, really tasty. So the guy, as you saw, cut them up with a uh, pair of scissors and usually got noodles inside them. Um, usually I think chicken and, and some mushroom. Actually the best spring rolls I've ever eaten in my life were in Thailand. They, they are really, really tasty. So yeah, try these out while you're in Thailand. So the final two things I got here were some Thai dessert. So I got this one which is a barbecued, um, barbecued rice in banana leaf. You, you unwrap it and you can see <laughs> you there, oh, oh. Uh, someone's just giving me some so this is, is also another type of uh, barbecued uh, banana which we'll try in a minute so yeah you can see it's, it's got signs of, of being barbecued there that is really really good so the, the rice is, is kind of sticky, it's got, um, got some soft banana inside which is, has been obviously barbecued and it's kind of a, a little bit bitter. Mm. But also quite sweet as well, it, it really is tasty. So this one that the, the lady over here has just kindly given to me, I think is also a barbecued banana. In, uh, so it's wrapped in banana leaf and has rice wrapped around it. This rice, as you can see, is, is purple, sticky rice. So these are a really good, really popular Thai dessert that you'll find at the markets and, and on the streets in China. Mm. That is really good. So, I don't know if you can see it, but there is actually there's a piece of banana in there and the rice is, is wrapped around it and, and then it's baked. Mm. Really good. So yeah, if you, if you come to Thailand, definitely do try out the, the street food. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel because there will be more food videos coming soon. Thanks for watching. See ya. <laughs> this stuff really is the best. If you want more on that, uh, check out my other video. Here's the link. See ya.